In today's world of online communication and transaction, digital marketing is very essential. It doesn't really matter about the size or the type of organization you're into unless you have a proper plan and also you're aware of the digital marketing strategy. So in order to help you guys with creating an upright plan, this video on digital marketing strategy is your one stop solution. So hi guys, this is Vaishnavi from Edureka and in today's session, we'll talk about digital marketing strategy. But before we get started with this session, let's take a look at the agenda. So firstly, I'll talk about why do you need digital marketing strategy for your business plan? And then we'll see what exactly is a digital marketing strategy followed by which we'll see how to get started with planning. And then we'll see what are the key points to be noted while working on digital marketing strategy. And then we'll see how to structure a plan. And finally, I'll wrap up this session by talking about the tactics to tackle the challenges that arises while planning. So I hope the agenda was clear to you guys. So the first topic I'll be discussing would be why do you need digital marketing strategy? So each company has its specific set of goals, but the majority of them are only concentrating on driving sales to their organization and finding new gateways to success is a wearisome task. This is where marketing strategy comes into the picture. To make your companies work more effective, you have to take advantage of all the most valuable marketing resources and technologies. So in that case, internet tops the list. Now gathering some information and planning out for proper business strategy is definitely going to benefit your organization. So this is exactly why we need digital marketing strategy. Now what exactly according to you is digital marketing strategy? A digital marketing strategy is basically a plan of action to achieve your digital marketing goals. A strategy is basically a plan of action which is achieved by a particular goal. All right. Now the marketing channels like paid earned and social media all of these come under the strategy. Now depending upon your job scale the strategy might involve planning each with a different agenda and the end result. Now when I say strategy it is most certain that it needs more creative thinking and also difficult to create. So let's see how to get started with strategizing your business operations. So here are a few must known facts that influence the growth of any organization. So the first thing would be branding. So you have to outline your organization's guidelines that will help in the online campaigns and also do focus on USP that is unique selling point for more sale conversions. Now the next is create smart goals. Smart basically stands for specific, measurable, achievable, realistic and timely results. So to strategize your business in a way that it benefits both customers as well as the organization, you need smart goals. Now the next is build buyer persona. You have to determine your business reach. Target a proper set of customers and gain their trust. All right. After you build buyer persona, you have to choose the right marketing strategy. After setting a proper goal, you need to be choosy in terms of strategy guys. Focus on a few techniques that offer the most value for your business and trendy strategies. After this, you have to set a proper marketing budget. Budget plays a very important role in your business, so you need to know where to invest and what you should invest in. After this, you have to launch your marketing campaigns. After proper planning, launch your campaigns across the marketing channels and ensure all your channels feature the appropriate tracking information. Now once you finish planning and launching your marketing campaigns, you need to keep track of the results. So in order to monitor and measure the performance strategies, you need to keep a track of your results. This can be done by uh, using tools like Google Analytics, which is one of the very useful tool in this case. So this is exactly how you get started with planning your business strategy. Now the next thing that I have on the list is key points to note while creating a strategy. So the first one is know what your business requires and set a corresponding objective. You should be very particular about your business goals and also set an objective. So the objective goes something like this. The digital marketing mission must fit into your impressive plan. 
you should also be able to set and measure your KPIs and also get familiar with these by identifying the figures you want to achieve. And also you should have the ability to analyze your previous digital marketing efforts for better KPIs and also identify and measure each of your KPIs. So before you get started with your strategizing concept, you need to know what your business requires. All right. Analyze your past efforts and try not to commit the same mistake. This is one of the most tedious part guys. You would have already worked on something and you would have failed miserably. So you should try not to commit the same mistake again to fall into the same pit. So analyzing your past digital marketing efforts, failures and success and also correcting yourself is more than enough to have a business running smoothly. These can also really help in setting the best KPIs. Now the next is communication or how you communicate with your customers. Always remember who you are talking to and try to talk business in their language. Do not let the planning take away the people that you're trying to reach. So you know your audience well, so try to be more interactive with them. All right. Now the next is identify your means. Three things which are very important for identifying your means guys. These are namely the budget, your digital channels and your marketing team. Without these, it's better off that you don't have a marketing department at all. So it is always important to stock all your resources before deciding on what else you might need for the next period. The next on the list is make an effective plan. Creating a productive plan is a tedious task, but you should take every care to craft a carefully constructed plan based on a set of insightful assumptions and analysis. You should predict exactly how your customers would behave. So monitoring the performance of your digital marketing strategy is really very important. So these are the key points you should note when you're creating a digital marketing strategy. Now the next topic that we'll be talking about would be how to structure a digital marketing plan. So integrated digital marketing strategy will give you a foundation of all key online marketing activities. So here are a few marketing activities guys. So the first one would be planning. Consider using a data driven approach to review your current digital marketing effectiveness, custom analytics, KPI dashboards and smart objectives in order to create a strategy of prioritized improvements and how you deploy digital marketing media technology and data to increase leads which in turn increases the sales. So planning is the first step to success. The next one would be the reach. You should be able to build awareness using online marketing channels like social media SEO content marketing and so on which will drive visits to your site. Then the next one is act always encourage interactions on your website or sometimes social media which will help you generate leads. So after you plan and reach your customers and also act upon the reach. You should know how to convert them. Once you know the people are landing onto your web page, you should know how to convert the visit to a sale. So the conversion plays an important role in digital marketing strategy. The superlative goal is to generate revenue by retargeting, nurturing and CRO that is conversion rate optimization in order to remind and persuade your audience to buy via one of the marketing channels. All right. Now that you've got conversion, you should know how to engage yourself with the people. So engagement plays a vital role in a digital marketing strategy. So once you engage more with your customers, it will eventually increase the number of sales from your existing customers by improving personalized communication using web email, social media and many more. Okay, so now that you've got an idea of how to strategize your business goals, now let's move ahead and take a look at the challenges that you'll be facing while creating a marketing strategy. So you can tackle digital marketing via a digital strategy made up of many different tactics. When all these tactics are used together, they create a holistic approach to getting your business more leads. Don't forget to shift your focus to content marketing because this is helping out a lot of industries to brand their product and their company as well. So content marketing is gaining a lot of advantage or a lot of importance these days. So shift your focus to content marketing and also understand organic content and paid advertising within your digital marketing strategy. 
I would say this because there's a lot of noise competing for your customers attention online. There are countless articles videos and advertisements flashing before their eyes every day. While this is happening organic content is still important your SEO ranking and social media campaigns. So do focus on organic content and paid advertising. So these are the challenges that you'll be coming across while strategizing your business plan. Also with this we come to the end of this video on digital marketing strategy. I hope you guys are clear with the topics that are covered which as per my knowledge would have really helped you in your quest. So thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.